Second state title in four years is what Minster is trying to claim as they won the Division Six crown in 2014. Runners up in D7 last year taking on Cuyahoga Heights. We head to Tom Benson Stadium for the action. Garen Stokes rocking the shorts. It was sunny. It was like 50 degrees. So nice. Start with Cuyahoga threatening. Austin Brown, big interception for Minster in the end zone as the team's trade of picks to start the game. Wildcats take advantage of that turnover in a big way. Jared Hillsman deep to Austin Brown. 44-yard touchdown on TV 44. 7-0 Minster. Cuyahoga responds. Ryan Polk, a long ball of his own to the Eastern Michigan commit. Dylan Drummond for the score. We're tied at 7. Second quarter, same score. Hillsman finding Isaac Schmeezing on the screen. 21-yard pickup for the senior. And it's Schmeezing getting the pitch. Breaks a few tackles. Look at this run. Going to go to the outside. Sloughs him off. Cuts back. Does get tackled at the one. Hillsman doing what he does best. It's the quarterback keeping it himself. Waltzing into the end zone. 13-7. Minster in front. Wildcats would get it back with three minutes left in the second quarter. Hillsman going deep again. Look at the catch by Brown along the sideline. He's inbounds. It's a first down. Then Hillsman finding an opening up the middle. 30-yard rush to the eighth. They're knocking on the door, trying to go up two scores before the half. Third and one. Ball on the three. One second left. Hillsman is in 19-7 at the half. Cuyahoga looking for some momentum to start off the second. Schmeezing. Big play on defense, interception. They're turning it deep into Redskin territory. More from Hillsman. This time he's actually looking to pass, but feels the pressure using the legs. Jukes his way into the end zone. That's another touchdown. They're up three scores. Cuyahoga would answer with a long drive, but that Minster secondary, huge today. Alex Lemkiel steps in front of it for the pick. Wildcat football, Minster looking to put it away. Hillsman. Looking to pass. This one gets away from him. One of his rare mistakes today. Drummond, the interception. Does Cuyahoga have life? The hopes of life would not last long. Poke scrambling. Guess what's going to happen? You're guessing at home. I hear you and you're right. Schmeezing the interception in the back of the end zone. Second pick of the game. And Schmeezing salting it away. What a way to finish off his senior season. Touchdown Minster. They win 32-7. Second state title in Four years, second state title of the fall for a Minster team joining the girls' cross country title. It's, it's terrible. It just makes you want to work harder in the offseason. That's what we did, and we came out on top this year. He, he's, he's, a, he's a man amongst boys. He's, he's a big guy. He works hard in the weight room. He's a tough guy. I mean, he fights for those extra yards. He, has, he might not pass the best, but he gets you there. It, it's unbelievable just being here. Being on top of this team, I couldn't have asked for anything better, especially to be with this group of guys. It's, it's insane. Just for my teammates, we just go out there. We, we play for each other. We don't care about personal stuff. We just want to come together as a team and just maximize our time together. We never shoot for a state title. Our, our goal is to maximize ourselves, maximize our team, maximize our time together, and that's exactly what we did. We just we kind of got desperate, I guess, and then we just wanted to, we came even closer, and that just helped us a lot more. Uh, proud of our guys. Proud of our guys. You just asked me a question about our seniors, and I got emotional because we're done with these guys. And, um, what a great group that has done it the absolute right way. Uh, lesson for all of us that you show up every single day and go as hard as you can possibly go on every single rep of every day, and good things are going to happen. So uh, I'm so glad it worked out this way that they could get that lesson drilled into them because they, they've, they've worked at, like, at a different level than normal people. And, uh, to perform at a really high level at the, on the biggest stage is the perfect way to, to drill that in, I think. Our secondary was terrible all year. We, we, we gave up the most passing yards in our league, and uh, it's kind of our philosophy is keep the ball in front, but our free safety, Isaac Schmeezy, another senior worker, Alex Lemko, another senior worker, a leader, uh, they found ways to make plays, and I, I really believe good things happen to good people, man. When you do things the right way, somehow it finds a way to bounce your way, so uh, really proud of it proud of our kids. He's a bull. I just told that last guy, I wish people could see who he is more so than the performance. Because the reason he is able to perform that way is because of his, his character and the way he handles every single day of his life. The way he acts and, and treats people and listens and works. and uh, he's, he's an elite human being and we're going we're gonna to miss that kid like crazy. 
we sat in the, the in the large meeting room the other day, and they said, what, "What do you want out of this thing?" The seniors in high school playing in the state championship game. What do you want out of this thing? And they said, "We just want to be known as the tightest group that's ever come through here, uh, the the most tight knit group that's ever come." They don't care about state championships. They, they just wanted to perform at a high level and, and really, really, really know that they had each other's backs. And I think you saw that defensively when we were in the red zone. Uh, they, they they scrapped, man. Uh, 